It's not easy being a goddess. And I hope to live up to every one of your expectations. And I want to exceed your guest expectations. Oh, thank you. I really, really do. So tell me about it, what would you do to end World Hunger? Well, I think that there should be a chicken in everybody's pot. Oh, that's... And that everyone should have a free lunch. Oh, and one big group hug. Oh, yes, a group hug. Kumbaya, everybody. Kumbaya, everybody. <laughs> I think that was, that was just wonderful, folks. <laughs> Ask her what her favorite thing to do in oh. a leisure time. What's your, what's your favorite leisure hobby? Oh, just hanging around. Wow. I'm, I'm sort of a horticulturist, you could say. Oh, I'm really? doing lots of experiments on my tongue as we speak. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. You know, when there's a couple of batteries in that sucker, and you can make an elephant. <laughs> 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 All right, well, this is ridiculous. I'm getting out of here. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're nasty. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, ladies, everybody ready to begin? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was lame. Let's start it again. Everybody ready to begin? Yeah. Well, for those of you who do not know me, I'm a total stranger. Thank you. But for those of you who do and don't, my name's Fletcher Hodges. I'm the curator here at, at the Adventurers Club. And welcome to my favorite room in the entire club. This is the treasure room filled with treasures from all over the world. Now, before we get started with the lecture, let me answer the first most commonly asked question of me here in the club. I don't know how many times I've been asked this in the treasure room, so I'll just get it out of the way first thing. The bathrooms are under the big stone head. <laughs> yeah, hang all right. You'll see the doors are on the left. Turn the fan on. We'd appreciate it. <laughs> now, the second most commonly asked question of me here, people ask me, Fletcher, Fletcher, are all of these artifacts genuine? Are all these artifacts genuine? Funny you should ask. <laughs> the answer is unequivocally no. <laughs> we got some fakes in here big time. <laughs> For example, you see that little gold Ramsey's on a border potty right there? That is not solid gold. And think about it a moment. You know it's not, because it'd be in this guy's shirt and he'd be out of here, am I right? <laughs> uh, gold foil, peel it back, chocolate and almond. <laughs> now, oh, now, this is genuine. genuine. This is one of my favorite acquisitions, absolute favorite. It belonged to a sultan. It's part of a set. The other one's out in the maid's law. It's uh, called a, who told me? Salt, salt and pepper shaker. Uh, 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 this is uh, this, this samurai armor is uh, well. That's that's my fault, folks. It's genuine, but I, after I was washing it and restoring it, I left it in the dryer way too long. Oh, oh, the two conquistadors either side there are not from 16th century Spain. They're from the days in down the road. <laughs> By the way, if anybody's staying there, we're anxious to complete the set. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, right uh, to the left of this Jade Shiva here, this is a dazzling example of a bowl. And over here, we have, let's see, the Chinese ant farm, they're all dead. Uh, oh, oh, this little skeleton right here. This is a donation by our club treasurer, Professor Otis T. Wren. You might have seen him, greasy hair, cream-colored suit. Professor Wren is an ichthyologist, which is a big word for fisherman, which is a big word for a liar. And he's tried to pawn this off on us as being a dwarf Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> it's a cat <laughs> that he found on the interstate. Oh. Roadkill off of I-4. Put on a pole there. You could call it a pole cat. Right? Oh. <laughs> I made that up. Okay. Now moving on to the more primitive cultures. Not you, sir. This right here. <laughs> this is a Yamite idol from the Sepik Valley River region of Papua New Guinea. How many have been to the Sepik Valley River region of Papua New Guinea? Very good. Let me ask you, what is the sole sustenance of the Malachite tribe of Papua New Guinea? Their food. Huh. The yam! That's exactly right, sir! It's the only thing that will grow in their sandy soil, so they pay homage to the yam. 
They uh, make little idols like this. They carve little features in them and they use coconut hair for the hair and shells there. And they have a big festival. If you're ever there, go around harvest time. They have a big festival called a yamboree. And they have a contest where all the men, the farmers of the tribe, they, they participate in a contest where they dance around, around a big campfire, and on the count of three, they all whip out their yams to see whose is the biggest. And it's, uh, you're laughing like that. You've probably done something like this around the house, haven't you? Well, now, this was given to me by the chieftain of the tribe. He was a very, very short man, though he's 94 years old. He's Chief Moho... Chief Ma oh, we wrote it on the bottom. Chief Mahogany. <laughs> and he said to me, Fletcher, when you hold this in the light, ah, oh, I am. Ah, ah, ah. Would you help me out here? We'll cooperate. Many hands make life work. That's it. Thank you very much, lad. There's a little hole in the back there. That's anatomically correct. Thank you. Appreciate that. Because I sure wasn't going to touch it. <laughs> Just a minor mishap, that's all that was. <laughs> minor mishap. Come now, Fletcher. You know I made that happen. Remember last week, the Celtic lard you were? Uh, mere coincidence. But you were standing on the other side of the room. Uh, must have been the wind. Fletch. Uh, Fletch, stop pretending. You know I have powers. Open up the doors. We need to talk. I refuse to accept your preposterous delusion of kinetic power. Eh, uh eh, -uh, no way. Oh, well, I get that lovely Jane Shima could just be pushed right off the wall. Well, uh, that's not the old baby samurai. Oh, not the baby samurai. And it's always your favorite. My big Buddha salt shakers. Yes, the salt shakers have got you your job. Oh, all right, you paranormal bully. Para <laughs> what? Very funny. What do you want? Fletcher, I have needs. Pooped up in here all day. I'm getting cabinet fever. Give me some air. <laughs> Very well. Watch out for that. <laughs> Behave yourself and give me a lecture and there are people here. You're giving a lecture and there's still people here? <laughs> <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, hello! 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 hello. hello. Sorry I cannot wave. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Beazle, only a partial member of the club and full-time pain in the nether regions. Beazle, this is highly inappropriate. Where is that lovely maid of ours, Sonny, huh? Now, the club will not tolerate that, Beazle. Oh, Blitcher, I have feelings. You know what I do it here all day? I pace back and forth. Back and forth. So what you do in your spare time is not my concern. Oh, you're so dumb with Fletcher. Haven't you ever been in love with a turtle or some small farm animal? <laughs> what do you want of me? How about a body? Body? A body. You know all that stuff from the neck down? I'm not complaining. I'm going to be a worse thing than being a head. After all, I could have been behind. <laughs> <laughs> well, in your case, the similarities are strike. <laughs> Oh, very funny, Black. But you know, Sonny refuses to take me seriously until I get a body. Arms, legs, you know, all the essentials. <laughs> See here, Sonny is an employee. And besides, all the good body all the good bodies are being used. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be Tarzan. I just like a little something down below. I beg your pardon. It's bad enough not being able to scratch, but I don't have anything that itches. You know what I mean, guys? <laughs> Fletcher, 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 is that thing boss insured? You wouldn't dare. Oh, no. If I get really upset, I'd hate to see what might happen in here. All this history, reduced to history. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Tell okay. me what you want. All right, well, I would like a body. Body. From a good family, no tattoos. <laughs> of and course. Sonny's telephone number. Oh, that's easy. You've got that. I'll get that from you. Oh, and uh, let's see. I'd like uh, some sunglasses. Sunglasses. A new chin rest. Rest. Some breath mints. Breath mint. Oh, and a uh, shower cap. Anything else? Yes, a sheet of fly paper. Boy, one fly in the air is mayhem. <laughs> Very well. By tomorrow, Fletcher. I'll do the best I can. All right, shake on it. You bet. Yeah, I got you. You pause for that every time. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 all right, okay now. Oh, no! No! Oh. And a handkerchief. Boy, sneezing in here can be really tricky. <laughs> I ain't got no body. No body. I apologize. 
ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to continue the lecture some other time. There's a few items I have to secure. Do you have any breath mint? Uh, I'll pick some up for you, too. <laughs> okay, folks. Well, that's all for in here. Come on out to the main salon. <laughs>